kitchen. So on this week's video, I really wanted to do another gum paste flower tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty hibiscus flowers. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to need in order to make the hibiscus flower. Now, first of all, I've got some gum paste or floral paste here, which I've just coloured in this pretty light pink colour. I've also got my hibiscus petal veiner. Now, you might have a petal veiner with a cutter. I don't have a cutter, so I'm just going to use a craft knife. And I've just got a little sponge just to push the gum paste into the petal veiner. I've also got some petal dust here. Now, I've got some different shades of pink, and I've also got a red and a few different shades of yellow. You might also need some alcohol to mix with the red and the yellow depending on how pigmented they are. I've also got some paint brushes, my edible glue. I've got some floral tape here that we're going to use when we put the flowers together. I also have some flower stamens that we're going to use. So I've got two different sizes. So this one has got the large stamens on the end and this one has got the mini size here. I've got my tweezers, a small rolling pin, and just some modeling tools. So I've got my ball tool here and just another cutter. I've also got some wire here. Now I've got six lengths of wire, which I've cut down to around five inches in length. And this is 24 gauge wire. And I've just chosen the one that has been covered in a white paper, just so that it doesn't show up as much when we push those into the petals. And then just have a foam mat. And the last thing that you'll need are trays to put your petals in when they dry. Now you could use an apple tray or a flower tray. If you don't have one of those, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do. So if you don't already have a tray, what you can use is just a sheet of kitchen foil or aluminium foil and a glass. So you just want to place your foil over the top and just push into the glass. So there you've got a little tray that we can use to dry our petal and you will need five of these little trays. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just take a small amount of the gum paste and I want to just start by rolling this out. So now we have the gum paste around two millimeters in thickness. I'm going to continue to roll it out until it's really thin. But first of all, I want to leave a triangle section, which is a lot thicker than the rest. And this is just going to allow us to insert our wire so that you don't see it through the gum paste. So I'm going to take my rolling pin and just work in on one side. So I'm just going to push out from the center just to thin that out. I'm then going to turn it around and work on the other side, but leaving a strip along the middle. What you're actually doing is creating this small triangle shape, which is a lot thicker than the rest. And you can bring the gum paste up on three sides. Okay, so once you're completely happy with how thin the rest of the gum paste is, I don't know if you can see this slightly raised triangle shape here. So I'm going to bring in my hibiscus petal veiner and I'm going to lay that gum paste over the top so that you've got the raised section here from the bottom going up. I'm then going to use the little sponge that comes with the veiner and I'm just going to push the gum paste into that. I'm then going to flip the gum paste over with the veiner still in there and just remove that. Now, if you had a cutter with your veiner set, you can just cut it out. I didn't, so I'm just going to use this cutting tool here and just cut around. So to make the petal look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to use my ball tool around the edge. So I'm just going to turn that over so the veins are facing downwards. And I'm going to use my ball tool and just run this around the edge just to feather those edges. Okay, so once you're happy with how that is looking, we're going to insert the wire. Now, I'm just going to first of all take the wire and just run my fingers down that slightly. Just put in a slight bend in there. And then I'm going to take some edible glue and I'm just going to pop the end of the wire into the glue. And then where we've got the petal here and we've got the raised section on the back, I'm just going to start in at the bottom of the petal, just push the wire and you want to push the wire down until it's about halfway down your petal. You then just want to pinch the bottom of the gum paste just to check that it's stuck. So I'm just going to bring in the little foil tray that we created and with the veins pointing downwards, I'm just going to lay that into the tray. So all this is going to do is create a really nice curve on the petals so that when we put them together, all the petals are curving outwards. So I'm now going to leave that to one side to dry and I'm going to create four other petals in exactly the same way. 
Okay, so while our five petals are put to one side, I'm gonna work on the center of the flower. So first of all, I've got my stamens here. So I've got the larger size and the smaller size. So with the larger ones, we need around four to five of the ends. So what you want to do is just take these, trim them down about a centimeter from the end. And for the smaller ones, you need quite a few more, so around 20. And with these ones, you need them slightly shorter. So I'm gonna cut these about half a centimeter in length. Now we actually want to color these so that we can insert them into the end of the flower. I'm just gonna add some red petal dust. And my red petal dust isn't very pigmented, so I'm just gonna add a small amount of alcohol onto there. And all this is gonna do is just create kind of paint. I'm then just gonna take the five different stamens and just paint that red color on, making sure that I go down most of the stem. Okay, so now I've got my five larger stamens colored. I'm gonna take some of my yellow petal dust and I'm just gonna drop all of my stamens onto that. And this one is a bit more pigmented. So I'm just gonna go over the top of these just brushing that yellow on. And once they have all been colored yellow, we can just pull those out of the petal dust, just to one side. So I'm just gonna take a really small amount of gum paste and the last wire. So what we want to do is just start rolling into a sausage shape. And then I'm just gonna take my edible glue and pop the end of the wire into that. I'm then gonna thread onto the wire and I'm gonna continue to roll that gum paste down the length of the wire. Now what we're looking for is quite a thin sausage of gum paste that's slightly tapered, so it's thicker at one end and thinner at the other end. And as you roll it, you might just need to push the wire further down. So I'm just rolling this between the palms of my hand just to make it a lot thinner. And once you've got it relatively thin, all I'm gonna do is cut it down so it's around about the same length as the petals. Pull the excess away. So I'm then just gonna put a slight bend in the wire. So I'm just gonna push on that lightly. And then it's time to add the stamen. And I'm gonna take a little bit of edible glue, which I'm just gonna pop on this plate. Pick up, first of all, the yellow stamen. And I'm just gonna dip the end into a tiny bit of the edible glue. I'm working at about half a centimeter down from the top. I'm just gonna push that at a right angle, leaving it sticking out slightly. And I'm just gonna continue working my way around until I've added about 20 of these little ones in. If you're happy with the placement of all the yellow stamen, we're gonna add the five red ones to the end. And just push that in to the top. Now you wanna leave these hanging out a lot more. So I'm gonna leave this one hanging out about half a centimeter. And once they're all in, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so I've had my petals drying for a few hours now, and as you can see, they've got that really nice curve on there, and the gum paste has gone quite solid. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is add some more color to the petals. So on this plate, I've just got some petal dust. So these are all by Sugar Flare. So all I wanna do is I've just got a big fluffy brush here, and I'm just gonna pick up some of that petal dust. I'm working from the bottom up. I'm just gonna dust that onto my petal just to build up different colors on there and just make it look a little bit more natural. So now I'm quite happy with how that's looking. So we're going from a dark pink down here, working our way to a really light pink. So I'm gonna do the exact same effect on all five of the petals. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the center of the flower. So I'm just gonna work a bit of that darker pink color up the stem so that they'll match. So now all the petals and the center of the flower have been colored, I'm gonna put the flower together. So I'm gonna start with one of my petals and as you can see, they just curve outwards. So I'm just gonna put all of my petals together and what we wanna do is just maneuver them so we get a really nice shape. Now what's really nice is that you can bend the wires from the base of the petal just to pull them out and make them slot together perfectly. Now you can have the petals just overlapping each other slightly and that's just gonna close up 
the gap. Okay, so once you're quite happy with how they are sitting, I'm gonna take the center of the flower and just slot that right down the middle. And then using some floral paste, I'm gonna tie all of these together. Now what's quite nice about this is we'll still have slight movement when we've done it. So if any of them do move, that's absolutely fine. So with the floral paste, once you stretch it out, that makes it quite gummy and that's what makes it stick to itself. So to start the process of sticking it to the wire, just wet the end. I'm then just gonna place that on the wire and just wrap it round itself. So once it's stuck to itself and you've got a nice secure base on there, I'm just gonna keep turning it around, working my way down all of those wires. And once we get to the end, you can just tear off the floral tape and just make sure that that is secure. Now we can have a look at our flower and see which of our petals have moved as we were winding that round. So I'm just gonna move the petals back into position. And there you have your finished hibiscus flower ready to add to your cakes. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have, then don't forget to give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please click subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will inform you every time a new video has been uploaded. Plus don't forget to head over to my Instagram and my Facebook page and if you'd like to read more about how I made this flower and all the tools that I used then head over to my blog. I'll put all the links in the description below. Bye!